Hi everyone, it's Tracy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to place multiple image files in a designer document all at once, rather than having to place them individually. Now I do want to note this only works in the desktop version of the app. Unfortunately, it doesn't work in the iPad version. However, this same process can be used in Affinity Photo for desktop as well as Publisher. So I have this layout here for a texture pack that I've put together and I want to place the next eight thumbnails here in a fifth row but I don't want to have to continuously do file in place each time. So I'm going to go to file in place like I normally would, but instead of just selecting the first file and clicking open, I'm going to go ahead and select that and then shift and click on the last file I want to pull in and it's going to select everything in between. So I'll go ahead and hit open and it's going to place the images like normal, but now I'll get this little box up here at the top and this is going to help keep track of what I've placed and what's next in line. If you have snapping on, you kind of get a little bit of a guide there as to how you're placing them. But if you're not careful about it, don't worry about it because once you're done, that box at the top right disappears and you have your move tool. And if you look at my layer studio over here, I have individual layers for each one, just as I would if I had placed them individually. So I can go in with my move tool and I can size down, I can move them around. I can go ahead and select all of them and group them or do an auto distribute. I can do any of the same things that I would have had I placed them individually by going into file and place each time, but I get the benefit of saving time by doing it all at once. And that's it. It's just that simple. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and find it useful. I'll be placing a lot more tutorials on here on all different apps, not just the Affinity products, but also Adobe as well as Procreate. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so you get notified whenever I place one out there. If you'd like to check out this texture pack, it's actually available for free to my newsletter subscribers and I've placed a link to that in the description below. Thanks again for stopping by and happy creating.